Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you how to set up a money bowl and for this you're going to need, you can either have a little clear glass bowl, you can have a gold coloured one, you can have a green coloured one, um, whatever you've got. Um, I've got this wooden bowl that I've put fake gold leaf on the inside, um, I use this as my money bowl. And first of all what you need to do is find yourself a green candle if you haven't got a green candle then what you can do is use a white candle um, green is associated with money and wealth and it's also associated with health and healing one second my cat's meowing for something okay so now my cat's been fed and he's no longer nagging me and carry on so what i'm doing is i'm just getting the green candle and i'm just melting the wax at the bottom so it sticks to the bowl i'm going to do that first like so then I'm just going to say what my intention is what I want this working to do what I want this candle to do and the purpose of this bowl this money bowl so I'm just saying out loud what I want to say you can say whatever you like it is up to you um, obviously make it personal to you what do you want what's your goals what is it you want to achieve with this abundance working and then I just do the sign of the pentagram over the top. And then as I'm putting in each, each ingredient in, I'm going to hold the ingredient, say what I want the purpose of the money bowl to do, um, and set my intention before putting it in the bowl. So first I'm adding some rosemary, A, to protect the working, and B, rosemary just seems to work really nicely in money bowl workings. That's what I feel anyway. Then next I'm going to add a little bit of lavender. Because I add lavender into everything because I love the smell of it. I find it adds to the working and you can use lavender to say that like you know that you want this working to come from a place of love. So you, you want to have abundance in your home but you don't want it to be to the detriment of someone else. Then, just having a look what I'm sticking in next. So next I'm going to add some cinnamon. Cinnamon is great for abundance workings. You can blow it through your door, through, through your front door from the outside into the home to bring abundance into the home for the month. If you do it on the first of the month, um, it's great when added to uh, money workings as well. Yeah, money pouches, money jars, money bowls, whatever. And again, I'm just saying what my intention is. And just letting it be known what the purpose of this uh, bowl is for. And you can, again, you can say your intention out loud. You can say it in your head. I prefer to say it out loud. Um, I didn't want to record it because it's personal to me. But you can say whatever you want this money bowl to achieve. It could be you want to be able to get enough money to buy a car. Or it could be you just want this your home to maintain the abundance and prosperity it has. Um, obviously prosperity and abundance means different things to different people. So whatever purpose it is, you just say it out loud what you want um, for this working to achieve. And once I've said that enough and felt that I've, um, you know, said what I want to say, I'm going to add some more ingredients. I'm going to add some whole cinnamon sticks as well. And I added these in a triangle shape. Uh, basically, I felt I felt that the triangle shape would work best, and I liked how it looked, so that's what I did. And then. What I'm going to do, and obviously, like I said, cinnamon is great for abundance workings and prosperity workings. And then I'm going to go and get the next ingredient. And 
and I'm going to add to the uh, bowl some bay leaf. Bay leaves are great for wishes, they're great for abundance and prosperity workings, they're great for money bowls. Um, you can use them, you can write on them and burn them to make bay leaf wishes. And then I'm adding some of this gold leaf, it's not real gold leaf, um, it's just that cheap craft stuff. But it's to represent money and abundance and wealth. And not just in a, you know, I'm not just thinking of abundance in a monetary sense. It's any abundance, like, you know, we always have a roof over our head. We always have plenty of food in our bellies. We're all healthy. We're abundant in health. We're abundant in, you know having the money we need to pay our bills it's that sort of thing it's not necessarily you know this is not so i can you know i'm not doing this work into like have all the money in the world or be a millionaire or anything like that. i just want to carry on and maintain the wealth and abundance in my home that i've got and also add to it if possible then i'm adding some coins i add copper and silver coins um just use whatever coins you've got around the house you can add notes as well if you want although be careful with those when you're burning the candle because you might burn them um, and just make sure when you do a money ball that you keep it sort of activated so what I tend to do is I will regularly light the candle probably once a week um, snuff it out so I can relight it and count, continue the working another day and maybe for, I might do it every day for seven days or I might do it once a week for a month. It depends how long I want to keep this working going for. And I'll just light the candle whenever I feel that I want to sort of bring that abundance and sort of rejuvenate the, the working. I'm also adding two green stones. I like to add lots of colour green. I'm genuinely not sure what that was. I just added in the ball. Um, and then what I'm going to add next is some pyrite. Pyrite is great for prosperity, for abundance workings. You can also add, um, let me think... Like I said, coins, uh, you could add jewellery to this, you could add notes, you can add anything you feel will aid the abundance working. I also added a little piece of citrine as well. The two green stones, I don't know if they're adventuring. Um, I basically just went for two green crystals that I got because um, I don't tend to work with them very much, but they do fit nicely into the money bowl workings. Then I've got this little lucky coin with a little pentagram on. I added that to it as well. And I'm just adding anything where I feel it would add to the working and aid it in any way. And now I'm adding some clear quartz. Clear quartz is great for amplifying a working and boosting the energy of a working so I like to add clear quartz as well and then obviously you've said your intention and everything and then you light the candle to sort of activate the working and then leave that to burn for however long if you can leave it to burn all the way down great fantastic if not just snuff it out and you can light it again at a later time. You might find that you've set up your money bowl and also all of a sudden you've got to pick your kids from school or you've got to go to work or you've got to go to bed. Depends what time of day you tend to do your workings. Um, so snuff it out, make sure it's out, make sure it's safe. Don't leave any candles burning unattended. And then when you have time and you're in a place where you can come and sit and spend time by your money bowl, relight the candle for however long you feel you need. And like I said, you can light it every day for seven days. You could light it every week for a month. You can have it fit in with your routine. You could leave it for a week and light it once a week on a Thursday. Thursday's great for abundance working, abundance workings. Um, or you can, um, like I said, do it at the start 
1st of January and just maintain your ball throughout. And what you need to do as well is now and again, take coins out, take put coins in, take crystals out, put crystals in. Refresh your ingredients for your money bowl and maintain it. The more you maintain it, the more you freshen it up, the longer it will keep working for. Um, and, yep, that's how to set up a money ball or abundance working. And like I've said, obviously I've done this one for sort of more abundance, like, um, you know, keep the money coming in the home, make sure the bills are paid, um, roof over our head, food in our bellies, that sort of abundance. But you could do it for an abundance of love and calm. You know, you could just change the ingredients around to fit with whatever abundance means to you. And, yep, that's how you set it up. You maintain it, you keep working with it, add things in, take things away, add more things. And over time, it will develop. And over time, this bowl will actually get more full of objects as I add more things to it. Um, and, yep. Yeah, that's how to set up an abundance working. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Blessed be. Bye for now.